Hey guys, Sarah Soul Eight here with Fathom Realty. Uh, today I'm going to bring you guys a quick buyer's tip on due diligence money and earnest money and what they're all about. So come check it out. So earnest money and due diligence money, what are they all about? I'm about to tell you, giving you an awesome buyer's tip. So. Let's start with earnest money. Earnest money is a good faith deposit that is uh, given at the time of contract or within five days of the contract, depending on what we put on, uh, what box we check on the contract. It is made out directly to our closing attorney and is held in an escrow account by the closing attorney um, up until the day of closing, okay? Uh, so what exactly is it? It's basically saying, here, Mr. Seller or Miss Seller, here is my earnest money showing you how serious I am about purchasing a home. Uh, and how much is earnest money? It really just depends. It's, it's part of the negotiation process, it's negotiated in the contract, and it can be anywhere from zero to 100, it could be in the thousands, it really just depends on the situation, okay? So now let's talk due diligence money. Due diligence money is made out directly to the seller at the time of contract. When you give due diligence money, you can just think at that moment that you will never see it again. Once you uh, write that check, just pretend like it's gone, that you're never gonna see it. So what does due diligence money uh, do for you? It'll, it allows us to do our due diligence process um, within a specified time frame on the contract. So you will see a date on the contract. It will be called the due diligence date. We'll put a date in there and we will have all of our inspections and investigating done prior to that date. So if you want a home inspection, roof, septic, schools are important to you, you want to check them out, whatever is important to you, you want to get that done during this time. You have up until the day of contract and that due diligence date to terminate if you'd like, all right? Um, you will lose your due diligence money by doing that, but just know that you have up, in those, um, up until that date uh, to terminate, all right? If you um, close on the home and everything goes smooth, we've all made it to the end goal, which is closing both your earnest money and your due diligence will be credited back to you at closing. So just, um, Keep that in mind that if you do close, it will be credited and returned back to you. If you do happen to terminate, your due diligence money is definitely lost and gone. Um, you won't see that again. And it just depends on uh, the earnest money if the seller you know, will give that back. And it also depends on the reason we're terminating um, a lot of times if you're gonna receive that earnest money back. So uh, I hope this was helpful. It's just a real quick tip. Uh, it's a question that we go over, um, it's items that we go over frequently with um, new buyers, so I just wanted to share it with you. I hope it helps, and I'm always here to help, and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit the, hit the subscribe button, um, go over there, subscribe, click the notification so you'll be notified when I have new content out. I always try to put good new content out for you guys looking to buy or sell, and I hope it's helpful. Uh, with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.